I would never kill you, but I can't let you hurt anyone else. I'm sorry you had to do that, Mark. She didn't leave you a choice. Just paralyzed. Oh. Huh. So that's what you were practicing on those protesters last week. I couldn't figure it out. Hey Mark, JK Calloway here, jumping into the brand new season, season two of Invincible. Season premiere, episode one. It's called A Lesson for Your Next Life. Let's see what that means, because, I mean, season one was fucking amazing. I had no expectations. I actually did it as one of our full season drops over on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash jkreacts, uh, because we do full reactions over there, when there will be full reactions for season two. But, yeah, it, it won the poll I put up. And it kicked my ass. It was outstanding. It was actually so good to the point where I actually took the episodes and edited them. And put them on YouTube. So season one is on YouTube. Season one was originally a $10 backer show over on Patreon. Which is what we do full reactions to. Or the full season drops I should say. And it was so good that we're going to do season two as it comes out. And we're dropping season one as well as doing season two as a $5 backer level over on Patreon. So we're dropping it from 10 to 5, so more people can check it out if you wish to. The full reactions, that is. But man, like, Omni-Man's a problem. So, I mean, that's the big thing last we left off, was we were leading to this information about Omni-Man, because there was this, you know, what the hell is going on with him situation, because the first thing we see in the first episode of Season 1 is he takes out the Guardians of the Globe when he was helping them for a long time and we're like well wh why would he do that what the hell and we find out through we go throughout the season that he's a viltrumite and that the viltrumites are taking over as many planets as they possibly can basically they're saying well, well hey we're going to offer you our protection in exchange for your natural resources and if anyone gets in the way hmm <laughs> and like who's to say the guardians of the globe would have gotten in the way but they were you know in the way he was basically softening up the planet essentially and those were their greatest warriors so we took them out and then we find out you know as, as we go throughout the, the the series the season season one you know, he's got a son named Mark who's just got his powers because he is part Viltrumite. And he was never secretive about that, by the way, Omni-Man. Nolan. He was never secretive about the fact that he was an alien, he was a Viltrumite. And that Mark was going to eventually get powers. And when he did, eventually, when Omni-Man let him know, hey, here's the plan. We're going to take over this planet. You're with me, right? Mark wasn't down for that. That, that, that. Like, he he is part human as well. So when he stood up to his dad, his dad did some horrendous shit to him. But he still does care about him, right? Like, he is part Viltrumite, and he is part human, and he is his son. So rather than finish the job, which was essentially, he was very close to killing Mark, he flew off. And we haven't seen him since. Where'd he go? <laughs> like, is he going back to Viltrum and explaining the situation? Is he just in hiding? Like, he couldn't bring himself to kill Mark, which is a good thing. Where does it go from here? And there's plenty of other fun stuff going on, like Mark's relationship with Adam Eve and and uh, the number of, you know, other heroes there are still on the planet, namely Robot. Who's no longer a robot, but yeah, we'll get into all that. There's so, God, the show is so good. <laughs> Make sure you do hit like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Please do. I think we're getting real close to 17k at this point. Let's get us to 20. Come on, people. Let's get us to 20k for fun. That'd be kind of cool. And also, like I was saying, Patreon for full reactions. Patreon.com/slash JK Reacts. 
And every episode we do, we do a shout out to our current patron. And this episode, we're going to give a shout out to James Strahan. Thanks, James. You've been around for a little while. I appreciate the support. And if you want to hear your name said on one of these episodes, go check out our patron. Become a patron. Support the channel. Oh, season two is going to rule, man. <laughs> a lesson for your next life. We'll see what that means exactly. But, like, th this show... And after I was done with season one, I was doing some YouTube searching to find out some more information, and holy crap, like, it's based on a, a comic by uh, Robert, uh, oh my god, I'm blanking on his name, but the same dude who did Walking Dead, right? And this, this particular story, Invincible, has been going on for a long time. I, I, like, I don't know how many issues, but it's over 50. So there's a lot of information, so I had to stop watching immediately because like i heard of, well, like, there's a you know uh, there's a elder vulture mite that's going to be showing up soon but i only saw his picture so i don't know the story so i like i but i'm avoiding spoilers as best i can there's a lot of them there's a lot of story left that how much they want to tell is up to them but apparently four episodes are coming out the next four weeks and then the final four episodes of season two will be out early next year we'll be here for them Ooh, episode one premiere, season two premiere. Let's do this. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. You survived again? <laughs> I was going to say, Mark, you getting any licks in? Come on. This is training, I'm guessing. After what Omni-Man did. After what you did. Ooh. That was Omni-Man. Yep. Yep. No. Oh. I thought he'd see the truth. Like you did. We know. You all feel like we're the bad guys because my dad and I took over your planet. But you are going to be part of the Viltrum Empire now. Oh, what a nightmare. <laughs> the more you resist, the worse this gets. We didn't destroy your cities. You destroyed them by fighting back. And if you still think you can stop us, don't forget, I'm... Invincible. Yeah, I suppose underground cities would pop up. The immortal let them away. We're safe. Yeah. That's what Rex thought too. Oh. Yep. I told you we were close. Hey Eve. You look good. Right. Oh well. At least it was just a robot, but get back. You and your stupid resistance made us kill thousands of innocent people. I would never kill you, but I can't let you hurt anyone else. I'm sorry you had to do that, Mark. She didn't leave you a choice. Just paralyzed. Oh. Huh. So that's what you were practicing on those protesters last week. I couldn't figure it out. Murderer! Ah, a volunteer. Don't touch me! Hey, buddy. You sentenced yourself to death. You will reap Let's what you... Let's do Mark. I missed lunch because of that riot in Bangkok. That was Sterling K. Brown, right? It's a nightmare, right? It could be a flash forward. Crews have been hard at work rebuilding the city that had been so devastating. How are you? I think we're both dying to get out of this house. Hmm. Yeah. Did you 
Oh yeah, I ship portals now. Didn't I mention that? <laughs> Could be worse than the salmon. See you around, Pete. Who did that? That was the same portal as the, the first scene, too, which I assume is a dream, but... No, that's the dude. What the fuck? My name is Angstrom Levy. Hi, Angstrom. Oh, okay. Why'd you break us out? Look, I'm a pacifist. I don't hurt people. I don't kill people. I only use my power for good. Oh. Working with the two of you is a real ethical and moral stretch for me, but I don't have a choice. Now, I can't force you to help me. But I will leave you here forever if you don't, or somewhere worse. I need to be out there. You need to start calling on me again. Hey, hold on. I'm better, I'm stronger, I'm ready. It's only been a month, Mark. Jeez, oh, really? Mom, your braids, your girlfriend, you want to go to college with Amber, right? I can save lives. You did, but you also went through an emotional tumble dryer, and I need to know your head stopped spinning before I let you back in the game, so no. Yeah, no doubt. I'm not my dad. I'm not my dad. A month? It's only been a fucking month? <laughs> I will detonate stress points in the concrete and drop the giant into it. We can neutralize him there without endangering him. Civilians. Oh. Was racing. I was all sweaty. <laughs> Why are you laughing? That's fear. Right. Before all this was just a video game for you. Now you're here in person. There's an infinite number of dimensions, and I was born with the ability to access all of them. Remember that world-changing battle between Omni-Man and Invincible a month ago? And most other dimensions, they teamed up and took over the planet. Okay. So it's another dimension. All our problems. Famine, war, climate change, cancer, have been solved somewhere else. I need deep knowledge of those other dimensions. Good thing we've always been inquisitive. We've always been. I uh, know. Meet? Yep. The family. Yep. I did not see that coming. I, how did you not? I need to copy all their know-how and put it in here. Why not just ask them questions? Because only someone who can see the whole puzzle can put it together. I'm still adjusting to my new body. And I'm instituting a change. Oh. The Immortal's now in charge. New training schedules are in your lockers. First session is in 30 minutes. Dismissed. What does Bulletproof do? When I was a kid, I always wanted to be my dad. What if that happens? What if I become him... And I don't even know it. He was on a mission, we too. Don't know like that. the whole world knows that. Cecil doesn't. Oh, hello. Power is stable. Neural matrices spinning up. Open your portals, and we'll connect to the other nine machines. Other nine machines, holy shit. What is this gonna do to you? A ton of processing behind the scenes, so you remember that you're you and not them. Even though you'll have everyone's memories, let's ride the lightning. Nice. Uh, I contain multitudes. That's why, you idiot. Uh. Hey, shut it down, or I take it down. Make us. You have no idea how much I wanted you to say that. Invincible, you don't understand. Stop fighting and listen to me. This is for the greater good. Yeah, I've heard that before. Then I'm sorry. Oh. Oh my. You were using other us's. You said we were special. Dave Batista. <laughs> Or Zangief, or She Hulk. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, we're going to do both. Shut up and enjoy. 
enjoy the show. I won't build my utopia with blood. You'll kill us all! I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I got in. I got in. <laughs> I guess I get to keep my superhero boyfriend after all. <laughs> Cecil thinks you're on our side. I'm not so sure. Mm. I'll be watching you. I understandable, honestly. But like, doesn't everyone understand what his dad did to him? Oh shit, one of the Mars lives, okay. Have to take off the damn helmet. Ooh jeez. How are you even breathing? What did he do to me? You did that to yourself. And this to me. I ruined everything. You've lost track of what memories are yours and which come from the others. They're all my memories. All of them. I won't rest until I've killed! Uh-oh. Oh. Crack? Alright, I didn't catch the guy's name. The, presumably the bad guy this season, at least one of them. Um, we'll hear it again, I'm sure. But Sterling, that, that was definitely Sterling K. Brown, right? <laughs> like, it sounded just like him. And if it's not him, hell of a job with the voice acting. But, um, yeah, I mean, someone with that amount of knowledge is a problem. But, like, and, and the portals. The portals are a good superpower. You can kind of go anywhere and get any kind of help he might need. We'll see. But, not sure why he's blaming Invincible. He took off the helmet to save Invincible. You didn't have to do that. I get that you're a pacifist, but dude. But yeah, lots of layers there to peel back, especially with, um, you know, Immortal and Invincible. Uh, because, like, I wonder if dude, the dude with the brain for a head now, <laughs> yikes, um, can show people, uh, moments like that from other dimensions saying like hey invincible check this out here's a world where you agree with your father and you took over the earth and you're a sick bastard like I, like I wonder if you can do that because you know or if it's just you know him saying I've seen it and that's that's a little harder to threaten and plus we already know Mark um, you know he already turned down his dad multiple times to the detriment of his face so you know is there is there any way in this you know this version of mark that he would join his dad and the viltrumites i don't think so i think you know he, he was taught to be strong by omni-man and taught to, to stick to your convictions so i don't think so but i get it from a mortal I get, I totally understand why he wouldn't just straight away trust Mark, that this shit's gotta be earned, given who his dad is, but like, people, that, 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 that's just, genetics don't determine who you are, you know what I mean, any more than uh, any anything else could, you know, just, like, the genetics determine who you are as much as race determines who you are, it doesn't, it just doesn't, you can be a prick, any shade, with any lineage. But that was fun as shit. I can't wait for more. Thank you guys for watching. Comments, let me know what you thought of that one. And now we'll jump on episode two when it comes out next week. I'm so excited, dude. I'm so excited. And there's lots of fun little subplots too, you know? Like, uh, is it Beast Girl? I don't remember her name. The one who can transform, but every time she does, she shaves some time off of her life. But she's still doing it. Like, stop doing it. Like, she's like 22, right? Or something. She's like in her 20s. 
Stop doing it. <laughs> you don't have to be a superhero. Just keep that shit at bay. You're, you're going to be a teenager the rest of your life. That's horrifying. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you. We'll talk to you next time.